Kawasaki Malaysia, that is a name that we've heard so many times before, but this shall be the first time that we'll be joining them for a launch of their product. We're gonna have our first impression of the new Ninja 250SL, and we'll be doing some riding around the circuit of Serpang. So get excited about that, and let's read it. Give me what you got, got. The new Ninja 250SL introduced by Kawasaki here is supposed to be the replacement for the old KR model, which was a two-strokes machine. But with the motorcycle industry now focusing more and more towards the much efficient four-strokes machine, it is just a matter of time that Kawasaki will fully left its two-strokes production bike. So here is their answer. I wouldn't explain all the specification of the bike here, so you can pause this part if you wish to. We shall speak more of the specs that we felt interesting later on and obviously in the actual opinion film that is to come sometimes later this year. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm your very new colleague. My name is Robin Conrad and um, I'll be joining Rashidi over here. I was actually quite impressed, uh, Rashidi. I don't know what, uh, what you think about it. Me too. I, I, I'm really impressed with the, with the nimbleness of the bike. How, how it's really easy to handle. The cornering. Is, yeah, the cornering. It's wherever you want to go. It's like synchronized with your body and mind. It's easy to ride. Exactly. It's really easy to this bike, I think, particularly this model, because it was the predecessor of the KR, uh, the KR model, the 150 double R, the two-stroke engine. Um, in terms of performance, it's almost neck to neck. But according to Rashidi, but who's ridden uh, yeah, pits I was, before, yeah, I was an owner of the KR. Yeah, yeah. So how does that compare? It will never beat the KR. So the KR is still faster. It's still faster. It performs it's better. Much more agile. Being a two-stroke, of course, the, the riding um, style will be different. Definitely. You don't have the engine braking, but um, okay, we will miss the, the two strokes. But this will be the, the closest it can be from from, from yeah. four strokes yeah. to replace it. It was actually really interesting uh, when they mentioned earlier that the engine was actually taken out from a KLX 250. Yeah. So that's it's a motorbike. It's, yeah, it's been developed, it's been tuned for this specific model, but it's that engine in this chassis. And yep. it uses a trellis chassis, so you're gonna expect again. It's just everything is just lightweight, uh, like the name itself, 250SL, slim and lightweight. You know, it's it's about the bike. It could be anything. It could be. It could be anything. <laughs> okay. It's actually light. Yeah. So uh, people are gonna ask, what about the top speed? If you are really into top speed, don't bother. It's, it only goes what 154, 56. Around that yeah. on range. A, on a good day, uh, if it's a bit cooler, I'd say maybe even 160. It can be, but you know, why should you stress out the engine to the limit if it's not meant to be really that? Yeah. To me, that's my yeah. personal opinion. No, it's not a bike you buy for top speed. No. Definitely no. not. No. Uh, but let's talk about specifications a little bit, right? Go for it. This, um, this little thing over here only produces about 21 Newton meters of torque, which is just about right for something that weighs about 152 kilograms, you know, uh, that's that's perfectly fine, and it's got you've about been 20. Reading, you've been reading the specifications for sure, for sure. <laughs> I'm a specs guy, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, it's got also 25 uh, kilowatts of power, so you can only imagine 25 kilowatts of power in something that weighs 152 kilo. A that's very enough, right? precise bike. Yeah. Okay, what about the value? Well. Entry market price is uh, set at exactly 17,689 ringgit, which is com quite it's fair, fair quite market. fair for the Malaysian market, yeah. knowing the import taxes uh, <laughs> that we have here. You don't want to touch that, okay? <laughs> Let the government do all this stuff. That's the government's job, but yeah, no, I mean, the price is still pretty decent. Yeah. Would you buy one? Uh, I would, but I wouldn't be going on the road with it. So to me, it's really just a fun, 
nothing aggressive if you want to be uh, somewhere around I'm, I'm saying that you can be relaxed like you can have fun on track so this is the bike to go this exactly. is easy yeah. just bring your bike to the track put any tires that you are confident to play around with yeah even on this tire I'm, I'm still amazed on, on how it performs Yes. Yeah, that comes back to the 50-50 weight distribution. Yeah. Thanks all to the yeah. Trellis yeah. chassis. Yeah. It's, it's a really, the really amazing piece of work. Really well. It is. It is. So, I mean, in the, in the long run, actually, uh, I, I see this bike more as a bike to personalize. You know, more, yeah. you know, so when, as soon as you get uh, customers buying this bike, I'm quite convinced that they're going to change. Uh, first thing they're probably going to get rid of is that gigantic exhaust yeah, bike, gigantic exhaust, yeah. uh, which was honestly, uh, when I, every time I'm doing the right corner, it's a bit in the way because it's uh, the exhaust comes out. You see, like over there. Uh, but yeah, things like the exhaust, the removal of any unnecessary bits, you know, uh, racing yeah, people, fairings. People will go and modify this bike. Exactly, uh, little engine parts, and because it's a motocross engine, there are lots of available parts for it. But again, it's what the market can give us. So I think it's got huge potential. Yeah. Uh, but again, if you're above 65 kilos, um, I wouldn't suggest it. If you're under 65 kilos, this is it's definitely a fun pack machine. So I think that's about it. We can wrap it up uh, yeah. and say that the Ninja 250SL is a great beginner bike, and especially for those who are small. Yes. Uh, for me and a bit Robin, we yeah. pretty much enjoy it. Yeah. Our time on, on the track. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, we definitely did. We definitely yeah. did enjoy it. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Perfect. It's very nice. Awesome. <laughs> As for now, that is all that we can share about the new Ninja 250SL, the way that we want it. In the future, we'll prepare a new piece on this bike and put it side by side with the KR150. That should be interesting. To all of you guys and girls out there, stay tuned with us for more of our show and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Doubt me and won't back down. Can't find nobody with my sound. I'm getting major. Call me mayor. I talk the talk and I run my town. Like I know what's in store. Checking right into the unknown. All my hopes and options closed. Now I'm walking through open doors. I've been dreaming of times like this. They say I'm hot and the fire's lit. I'm soaring high. Getting lift up right through walls with iron fists. And all I know is I'll do it. Give my all just to get through it. Work so hard to get my future. Gain my fans and I'll never lose them. Lose them. I know this journey. It's much too far from its end And I'm never giving up even